we create some really great content within our intranets using SharePoint. And we create some pages that are so full of information that everything is in one place for people to go to. But that can lead to overload. But let's go and have a look at some of the new features that Microsoft are now starting to roll out that allow us to control that a little bit more. Let's take a look at collapsible sections. I see some fantastic pages full of really good content, but the page just seems to go on and on and on and on and on. Uh, but that doesn't really give the reader the best possible experience. We want the ability to not have to scroll five or six times in order to get to the information we need. So we need the, the ability to concertina. And that's exactly what the new collapsible sections within SharePoint is designed to allow us to do. Let's go and have a look at how simple it is to author our pages using the modern experience and have those sections that are collapsible and look at how that impacts the readability of our page. So I'm using just a standard SharePoint team site for today. The same applies to a communication site. Um, it doesn't really matter. The, set, the experience is exactly the same. But this is my welcome to our new office page. And we are so proud of our new office that we want to get every little bit of information across to our users that we possibly can. But I can go too far. I can keep scrolling and I keep scrolling and I keep, keep scrolling. So this is quite short in terms of pages that I have seen, but I can make the readability of my pages better. And like I've mentioned in the intro, we can now decide to collapse certain sections of our pages. So if I just put this page into edit mode, first of all, when we talk about sections, we talk about uh, these areas that I've got broken out by color. So down the left hand side, I've got my uh, my main section uh, section bar and I've got the ability to add more sections or if I click on one, I can then have the ability to edit one. And if I select the next one, I can edit that one as well. And in the past, what we've been able to do is really just focus on what layouts. So do I have one column, two columns, three columns, maybe, uh, maybe squiff it one way or the other, but we now have more. So if I want to look at the readability of this page and decide actually some of these things, I can actually collapse. I can make my page much shorter and I can give my users the ability to choose what they want to see at that particular time. So I'm going to do that for the majority of my pages. I'm going to leave my introduction exactly where it is because I want that to be visible, but everything else I want to be, uh, I want to be collapsed. So I'm going to come and edit my section. And so when I edit my section, I've still got my layout options. I've still got my background options, but I now have this new option here, which is make this section collapse uh, collapsible. And if I turn that on, so the first thing that you'll see um, on my screen, because it's automatically updating, is that I've now got a little arrow that appears here saying that my section is expanded. And I've got this quite big area of space now that's appeared on the left hand side. So why is this allowing me to do? This is allowing me to define a section display name. So whereas before I had creating a safe environment right here in my text as my header, well actually, let's grab that out and let's put that right here as my, uh, as my section header. And now let's remove that from my text. Okay, so I've got my section header. Uh, I've got my collapsible toggle. And if I toggle that, it gives me exactly what I wanted, which is my collapse, uh, my, uh, the ability to collapse. So if I go and quickly do that for my other sections as well, And I'm just going to drag that up into here. Let's make that section collapsible. Let's make this one collapsible. But this time, I'm not going to drag any text up. I'm going to make this useful information. And let's finally uh, do the final one as well. So my FAQs.
Okay, so now I've got the ability to collapse my sections. And so I've now got my, all my content still on the page. I'm still only managing one page at this point, but I've, uh, but I've now reduced the, uh, reduced the overall um, aspect of my page. But each time the page loads at the moment, it's going to be expanded. So I've actually not really done anything different. I've potentially given my users the ability to select whether they want to hide stuff. But what if I want everything to be collapsed by default? Well, on a per section basis, oops, let's just come back and edit this. I have the ability to change the default display. Now by default, it's expanded. It's allowing the content to be seen. And if I decide to collapse it, then that's going to be the default. And let's go and do the same for my others. So collapse, collapse, and the final one. Okay, notice that while I'm in edit mode, everything is still expanded because I want to be able to see my content. But as soon as I hit republish, then my content has now Constantine and down, it's collapsed for me. And so now if I, uh, as a user, if I want to come and see my page, I can expand. Okay, very good, I've read about that one. I can collapse that back down. I can then look at the next one. So it's really reducing the, pay, uh, the overall size of the page into manageable chunks without maybe having to use some of those legacy ways that we'd have to do it, such as breaking out into more pages. And it's as simple as that, how we actually do it. It's all done in the pages editing experience. So this is brand new, and this really brings us to the fact that SharePoint, every time we think, what, what else can I actually bring out? They bring out something that is, uh, that is really useful in this way. We would have had to previously do this via code or write our own uh, or bring in our own web parts really simple uh really simple but effective effect that we can now apply to our pages to really help the readability and the usability of our pages throughout sharepoint well i hope that was useful just seeing some of these new features uh, i hope that you do go and start to explore these yourselves if you do have questions around any uh, anything i've covered in the video please do feel free to reach out uh, feel free to find me on Twitter at MattWeston365. Feel free to find me on LinkedIn again at MattWeston365. Or feel free to post in the comments uh, for this video and I'll be happy to help you in any way that I can. But for now, look after yourselves, stay safe and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.